Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to Sliverstar Arcade and more the Rain's Down, Rain Downs players. Uh, in the last episode, we got introduced to our two characters, Lucas and Claire. I oh my, I actually really like those names. Um, and basically, we're running a show. So, I'm recording this right after the end of the first episode. Uh, let's see. Let's have an adventurer. Uh, location is, uh, a lake. Purpose is fish. They encounter a lake. The outcome is death. I think this will actually help us with solving a, cl a quest for one of our other guys. And we've also had the, we've also learned to avoid projectiles. So, like, those Giga Tomatoes always go for the opposite person. So, if they're on the left, they'll be going to the right. Fudge. 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 I'm bad at this. Oh, jeez, was that a rock? Okay, I did better that time. Still seems like Lucas is always, so I, I can't really pay attention. 27, so we obviously did better. Yeah, why is this guy in here? Maybe Lucas can actually tell. Hey, show's over. What time is it? Really late. Try staying awake tomorrow. Although we appreciate your money regardless. Oh, that's the guy who's constantly falling asleep. Oh, okay, okay, no. I kind of wish there would be, like, some music for when it's nighttime, but... Oh, well. Also, where does Claire go when, uh, when it's time to go to bed? Because, like, that cat has the right idea. Seeing her like this makes me think I... <sighs> well, I should also be going to bed. All right, what time is it? Six in the morning, jeez. Why the heck are you getting up that early? All right, well, first, let's go and talk to people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? You again? Oh, I just happened to catch the last performance. I have a few suggestions for you. Story ideas and such. How about, let's collaborate. How about you show me your face and... Asking a total stranger for hints feels sort of like cheating. Oh, no pressure. If you'd rather work things out on your own, I'll just be here if you need me. I imagine fish would be a disappointing outcome for a character who is expecting something more exciting. Uh. Okay. Oh. It's all the same. Uh, can we talk to that? So did I overhear that somebody's threatening your life or something? That's hilarious. <laughs> I know a guy who can smuggle you out of the city on the cheap if you need me to hook you up. How do you feel about the inside of a turnip sacks? Uh, d dude? Um, anyways, alright, so he says the same. Uh, I don't know how I feel, but- Whoa! When did this happen? What a waste of paper. I'll go fetch a ladder. What, what, what do they say? Can, can we not read? What, are we illiterate? Seriously, what are these papers? Where do they go? Whoa, I guess the demonstration's over? Oh, jeez, what is going on over there? I'm worried. Thank goodness the strike is over. It won't last. 
The South Bank Air Taxi Company always goes on strike until they earn more than the North Bank staff. Then the same thing happens on the North Bank and repeat. Workers can always threaten to leave and cross the river. Both sides always need staff. They're all in league with each other behind the scenes. You're such a cynic. God, it's like listening to my dad when, you know, our school teachers went on strike. Come on, kids. Playtime is over. Time to go inside. Oh, God. So why won't you go inside? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, no, that is a, that's a bad scene. Um, a school. The birthplace of the Rains Down players. I imagine it won't be long until a commemorative plaque is in order. The, okay. Oh. Was I supposed to come in here? Hey, Claire, you followed me. Thank goodness. Lucas, wait. We shouldn't barge into the anonymous private property. What's going on in here? Is that a stage? Hello? This place has good acoustics. A very clear sound. Hey, Claire, go stand over there and yell something. And reveal the precious location of my soft, stabbable flesh? No, thanks. I think we should... Interlopers, prepare yourselves. I won't hold back. <laughs> Ouch. You have bested me. I yield. Rain's down, players. You got my note. We got thousands of threats. We're still cleaning them up. And you kept your nerve. Despite the severity of the threats. You even came to this dark place. You'll do nicely. Nicely for... What? Weren't you going to stab us a second ago? Yeah, but only pretend like. Now to business. This is Remy's fight. Uh, this is Remy's fight theater. I am the titular Remy. Uh, Remy, if it wasn't obvious. I plan on putting on... I plan on... Ah, uh, fudge. I can't read today. I plan on putting on plays about fierce fights and wild warriors. But alas, I'm currently without a partner. Could I borrow one of you and swing a sword around in your face from time to time? Claire doesn't allow me near bladed weapons anymore. But they have loads of weapon but they have loads of weapons training. Well, I'm only fully trained in sword, knife, spear, and axe play. I don't have time to finish my nunchuck or crossbow training. I think you'll manage. Just drop by any time after midday. I look forward to clashing upon the stage. Please keep the stage tidy in the future or I'm not getting up there. Oh well, that's kind of cool. Okay, we got quite a few people. Why do people keep staring at me today? Is it because I skipped my shower? No, it's because you don't resemble a warrior. Oh no, my partner over there is the one trained in stage fighting. Them? Laughable. This should provide ample amusement. You don't look much like a fan of fighting and warriors. Correct, I am a foot of... But I am a fan of good costume design and suitable attire, which sadly thus far has been rather lacking. Hey, Remy. For the first time, I'm not quoting you in my magical history studies thesis. But this is a juicy factoid. It'll spice it up. I'm not writing a trashy play here. And I refute your claim that magicians of old used to turn their rivals into small dogs to humiliate them. Real magic was never quite as magical as the stuff in fiction. It was pretty much like chemistry, just with longer words and more shouting. Hey, frog. This frog has a little name tag. Matthew. Hey, uh, have you watched us perform yet? Yeah, you guys are interesting. I dared to do something really weird. Like what? Does something like a shrug in spite of no shoulders. <laughs> Is there some kind of contrivance which would make things behave the opposite that you expect? Why did that... Why did that book appear? Oh, it's probably saying we got an idea. Don't read here. We'll put on a show better than any book. Know much about books, do you? Yes. No. Books are too slow. This is The Sword Born of the Lake. Know it? 
Hopefully your parents at least read it to you, however inexpertly. So, if we can get a sword card, we can probably put it... Oh, that guy needs like five things. So yeah, we have a lake, so we probably need a sword card and then a fighter. Or princess. Hello friends, stick around for the next performance? Yep, this place is supposed to put on a particularly tense and dramatic place. What would get your pulse racing? Hmm. Perhaps a one-on-one -on -one between a warrior and a rival who relies on something other than brute strength. Plus a really surprising ending. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I imagine fish would be a disappointing outcome for Kikdu who was expecting something more exciting. Alright, Claire. Time to switch off. Uh, it's past midday, right? Yeah. Remy. Fight me. R Remy. R Remy. How, how do I get up on stage? No, seriously. How, how do you get on stage? He said any time past midday, right? Maybe it wasn't midday when we came in. So what if we walk out and go back in? Oh, this is Remy. Sorry. I was getting them mixed up. Oh, just pay attention to my cues. I'll let you know which directions I'm coming at you from. Just be sure to press them in time. Uh, okay. Um, warrior location market purpose death encounter. Musician outcome is fish. Okay, ju just something crazy. Oh, fudge. Up, up. What the? Okay. Okay, darn. This is this is not going well. Down. Okay. Side, up, side, side. Okay. Side down. Okay, this is much easier than... Okay, I was trying to use the D-pad, but the D-pad wasn't actually working as well. Ah, crap. Okay. Alright, I'm liking this. And we're getting more people, the better we do. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Okay. Oh god, oh god, this is messing with my head. <laughs> Up. Okay. Man, they did not like that fish ending. Hey, wait, I thought you didn't have her training in nunchucks. Fudge. Uh, up, up, down, down, down. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. How long is this going on for? Wait, that worked? Huh. Uh, okay. Did not expect that. This guy won't stop staring intently at us. I might pretend I have s something to do with it. You there! Your skill with the sword was impressive. Th thanks. I, I trained for a time. Should you wish to pick up a real sword and earn some real scars, come and find me. You feel inspired for your next play. You got the sword card. I feel like our eyes will explain if we come up with ten more ideas. Uh, okay, but it seems like we didn't... Who are you? Why is this dilapidated prison so alluring as a hangout spot? Hey, Blue Blue! I just walked right past them. Am I weird? 
Is it weird I always do that? They were intimidating. Unless I know them. Too late now. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can talk with them. I need to rest a little and mentally prepare myself for swordplay. Can you just wing it? Improvise? Buckle some swash? Now if I value my limbs. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. Like... Oi, orange spikes. Yes, how can I help you? I saw your show. Why do you do baby plays? I need something grittier. I'm sick of weak sauce wilderness adventures. Are you a seasoned adventurer yourself? What? No. I work in insurance. But I like to think I could hold my own if I was suddenly up to my neck in danger. So that guy probably wants something. Oh, geez. We can just enter these houses. Howdy. Oh, Lucas, so nice of you to, to drop by. I'm meeting my husband over in the theater district when he gets off work. I'll be staying over there again tonight, so feel free to use the facilities and help yourself to anything. Your husband must be loaded to have a place across the liver, river. It's nothing special. I prefer this old place anyways. It's where he lived when we first met. So I guess if I wanted to, I could sleep here. Or does she own all of these? homes yeah like actually why is there like dolls of us like look there's lucas on the shelf and up there is claire and i'm assuming one of those is the guy who's constantly taking our you know like he's like our cashier guy and the other one don't know i don't like i know we've seen a person like that but are you using the bathroom again? I hear all. Mrs. Izzy said we could. Very well. Bro, I can feel a breeze. The frog has a little name tag. Chauffleur. Huh. We got... Oh, you're new. I'm get it's getting late, kid. It's, oh, sorry, that's that's Lucas me. It's getting late, kid. Why not head home, or at least come see a play? Bring your family. I can't. I'm staying up all night for a science project. Oh, hey, I did the same project. Claire laughed at me, said it wasn't real science, but I believe in you. Huh? Ooh, new people. Lucas, help. The wells run dry. I've run out of spooky stories. But you're all about spooky stories. I know. You gotta help. You gotta help me come up with something fresh and scary. My reputation's on the line. Sure thing. How should we start? Hmm. How about journalists snoop around where they shouldn't be? Okay, so we need a journalist. Hey, tell us another spooky story while we wait. In a sec. I've got a good one, I promise. Just wait a bit. Okay, okay. So, we're slowly building stuff up. Uh, okay, yeah, I forgot. Boiler room does nothing. Uh, nope, still all the same. Okay, uh, so... Hmm. Let's see. Something scary. Uh, this guy. His is probably just like. Uh, let's see. Musician. And wealth. They encounter musician and wealth. Yeah, let's try this. Fudge. Okay, okay. I think I'm starting to get better.
Okay, alright. Here we go. Seriously, why does everyone pick on Lucas? Oh, oh, that one guy really liked it. All right. Huh. I'm slowly starting to realize that maybe this isn't, uh... Oh. What are you guys doing in here? So then everything comes tumbling down. But what the heck was it doing up there? Oh, it's just... Those guys again. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just have to sleep it off huh i feel like this game would be better for like a stream i guess but i don't really do streaming so um oh what's this whoa it's going to fail the audience is just one more night away from Realizing they've been tricked by a bunch of fake actors. After all, you only left because you're going to be kicked out from the academy. There you are. Having a quiet moment after all the busyness. I won't bother you too much. But I think we might actually be pulling this off. Even some of the customers who only show up to throw things end up sticking around to the end. So I just wanted to say thanks once again. For your considerable talent and belief that we can lay the foundation of something legendary right here. <laughs> the only foundations I'm worried about are those holding up this crappy building. I told you, it's all about the character of the place. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's just make sure we don't drive away the paying customers. If we can throw enough of their money at it, just maybe this place will stay standing long enough. To become as famous as you claim. And pay Margie. Yeah, that too. Maybe let's wait a little longer before we break that to her. Wait, so we're not, we're not even paying her? Oh, God. Oh, we just automatically are put in charge of her. Huh. Well, let's go and find our one friend. He should be, uh... Yeah. He should be happy that we basically did a play on him. Why is he not here? I thought we got to talk with these people. Ah, jeez, my earbuds keep falling out. So, uh, fun, so, uh, yeah, I guess, well, real quick, oh, this guy's not here. Um, so I guess I'm going to end it for now, because I actually really need to go to bed. Um, so yeah. Yeah, there's no way to pause the game as far as I'm concerned. There's only quit. Which just brings us to here, which I guess I'll leave it on this screen, because I guess that's what they're actually supposed to look like. I honestly not what I expected and my voices probably aren't doing them justice but yeah so maybe this game isn't too soon for a let's play or maybe I'll only show it when like we actually complete certain things or if new stuff shows up you know um all that jazz and uh next time I'll actually try and have some stories about actors but so far, this is looking like, like, this game's supposed to be, like, 10 hours long. I don't know if I'm going to get 10 hours worth of content out of it. But, oh, well, that's for future me to deal with. So, as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.